Make you sit through a five minute introduction. Welcome to Coffee Time with Clicking and Breaking with your host, Clicking Clip and the Breakable Cow. <laughs> What's up? How's everybody doing today? How are you doing, Cal? How's your week been? I know it's been kind of rough. It's been the roughest week I have gone through yet, and I think I think we're about done with it. Um, I, I, I'm going to get a little personal. So, uh, yeah, I've I've had a very long week. Um, I found out two weeks ago my dad has cancer, uh, and it kind of kind of put me in a in a in a tough spot and everything. And uh, I lost a lot of sleep, especially the last few days. But as of yesterday, uh, he's 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 at the moment he's cancer free uh, until they go back and run tests and make sure that it's good and whatnot. But there were some other complications, but he's doing okay. He may get to come home today, uh, as of Thursday, uh, but I, I don't know. So, but everything else for now is is going okay. I I actually slept last night. It's been the first time in almost three days that I actually got to sleep through the night, and it it was nice. But now I'm I'm I don't know. I just I worry too much about people and instead of myself and. You know, that's my dom, you know, but my, the best feature of yourself is also your downfall, I feel like, because I'm way too nice to people. I care too much about other people, but the downside of that is I don't do that for myself, you know, so it's, it's very hard. I'm a very lonely person, I feel like, and you guys, Cliffy, everybody, you guys have been so much support that you guys are my friends and family, and that's why I stick here, but. Yeah, I, I've had a rough week, dude, and it's it's over with. And hopefully, you know, hopefully this is the other, the other end of the green here because we don't we don't need any more of this crap going on. We had a move. I I picked the wrong time to do all this stuff. So my dad had surgery. We moved my girlfriend into the house yesterday. Gosh, that was stressful. Um, and. Uh, and Easter, Easter is Sunday, y'all. That is crazy. I'm so excited. <laughs> How was your week, dude? Huh? I you have not. I did absolutely nothing. I took this week off other than live streams. I did my videos last week, got them done for this week, and I've just been doing nothing but watching movies and, and hanging out with my kiddo and, uh, and doing some things with the wife, but yeah, that's awesome. That's, that's about it. Um, a lot less stressful than what I had. <laughs> when this comes out, I'm excited for tomorrow. I guess the garage sale season is at hand. Oh, nice! And the citywide garage sales this weekend. So, me and the wife, we're gonna have fun doing that. Heck yeah, are you gonna sell Lego or are you gonna buy Lego? Oh, we buy Lego, yeah. That's the plan to buy Lego. Heck yeah, that's awesome. I haven't been to a yard sale in many years. I'm seeing signs all over the place about yard sales, but I never have the cash when I see them signs. All right. I mean, 21st century, you'd be like, yo, you got Apple Pay or Cash App? Like, <laughs> but. <laughs> oh. I saved a little bit of money for yeah. this that's funny. I all I totally forgot this was a pre-recording. I'm waiting for someone to pop in chat. <laughs> no chat. No chat. That's this funny. is on us. We got to talk for an hour. Or so. Yes. Oh, that's cool. I found a Monopoly hat in my bulk. A Monopoly house, not hat. But how do you sort? I have got this big, huge container thing. And each one, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's got six baskets. 
they're pretty large baskets, but I'm having a hard time trying to figure out how to sort it. <laughs> I I got these little containers that I just laid on the big table. Mm -hmm. And I, not those big ones, not, not the tubs that I keep them in. I yeah. got these little, like, take out, black, they're like little stuff, like, Tupperware, but they're not. They're cheap. They're okay, like got you. A dollar or two. But they're small, and I lay that on a big table, and I dump whatever I'm going to sort into a bucket, and I just start sorting however you got yours set up. So those are full. When those are full, then I dump them in the ones that you're keeping them in. That way you can kind of stack them up when you're done and out of the way. That is a good way. Yeah. Keeps it kind of neat and orderly. This one, is, it's big. It's a big, huge thing. And I don't really know where I'm going to put it. But she brought it over yesterday. She's like, my mom gave me it. And I'm like, uh, I don't know if we should give that up. <laughs> if your mom gave it to you, then, you know. But, all right. So, now I'm using it for Lego, which I love. Because now I can somewhat sort my bricks and whatnot. But it's it's just, yeah, it's, it's a lot. I don't even know how to sort. I feel like I just... I feel like I don't know how to Lego. Do you even Lego, bro? I don't Lego hardly at all anymore. Mm -hmm. Other than my live stream. See when it well when it all started. That's when I yeah I mean oh hey that's a really cool turntable. Ooh I'll have to show you that one later. It's a turntable piece without the turning piece in the middle yet. But on it, it has two clips on the side. It's really cool. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so we what you want to talk about? What you got on your mind? So we haven't hyped up Sunday night yet. Oh, yeah. What's Sunday? <laughs> well, we're, we, got, we got that competition between me and you. Yes, yes. Have you been, um, have you been, have you been practicing? No. Why? Why practice? I, I'm a mock builder. Uh, somewhat of. <laughs> I'm a somewhat oh, of mock builder. You're getting a little cocky now. I see how it is. <laughs> I see how it is. Killing me over here. Whew. So yeah, you uh I'm a I'm not trying to be cocky, but I mean I I have built a lawnmower out of pure pieces. That's all I'm saying, you see. So yeah. I could I feel like I could build about anything using certain pieces. It's just the the thought in the thought process in what am I gonna build with looking at these pieces is my struggle. I built a castle. Out of that bunny? I know. I said I built oh. a castle. You built a little lawnmower. Oh yes, okay, got you. I was like, "How'd you build a castle out of that money?" I'm, I'm intrigued. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I don't know. I, my, my advantage, disadvantage. It's more of a disadvantage. Uh, I, I play with Lego all my life, but mm. yeah, I feel like I know nothing about Lego. I don't know. I feel like I don't know how to build Lego. It's just that. I don't know. You you see some of these like the the Lego masters. Let's just go that route. These these people who have a really complex thought process in building things. I don't. I'm I'm complex in my head, but I don't. I, I don't know if I could build like that. I don't know if I have the 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 mentality to push myself to do all that. Um, but there's always a will and way. Um, right. I, I mean, you know, you yes, your castle, that by far, oh, I don't know. I was going to say that by far is one of your best mocks that I've seen, but I really like that fisher's boat that you built a while back. That is a really cool boat. And the yeah. way you use those nets on that boat, that was really cool too. So, yeah, I, yeah, you're, you're a really good freaking mock builder. I'm intrigued for this Sunday, dude. Like, it'll be fun. I, I don't think you and I have ever personally gone at building competition like this so yeah. it'll be a lot of fun um, do we uh 
So, so it is that uh, the poly bag, right? The new poly yes. bag. The yeah, bunny. The, the little bunny. Since it's Easter, we might as well do the bunny. Yeah, yeah, that's fun. Might as well. I like that. We'll do a. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll we'll do a speed boo. Ready, set, go, kind of thing. Yeah, we'll do a speed build and a mock build. That's yeah, that'll be fun. Thank you. Um, what else can we do with them? I don't know. I don't know, but I, we'll figure it out. We, we may have to get a person on here to be our chat reader while we're doing it to yeah. help us with chat. Slow us down a little bit if we don't, you know. But it's all good. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna have fun. It's always going to be fun. Clicking and Brickin is a fun channel. I really like doing Clicking and Brickin. My channel in general, I don't put the effort into it like I do with Clicking and Brickin. Am I wrong? <laughs> like, like I feel like I put more effort into the Clicking and Brickin side of things than my own channel. You do. You do. Uh, you've done I, a good job. You've done a good job since you took. I like Clicking and Brickin. Um, this, and it's still all so, so new to me. I, I've been at it for, I don't even know how long now, but doing this podcast stuff, I didn't ever think that I would, I've always been the shy type. I've always been the, the type to keep myself. That's why I said I'm a very lonely person. It feels like sometimes because I'd rather keep to myself than go to a crowd, go to a party or something, you know? And I think that's where Lego has helped me along the way. Uh, Lego has been there for me, whereas people have not, you know, like it's a weird concept of looking at it, but I'm not wrong. Mm -hmm. I build Lego to get happy. You should not use materialistic things to keep you happy, but in the same sort of sense, you shouldn't go crazy over things and not have a de stressor in life that isn't drugs. Don't go, don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> Lego is a drug. Lego is a drug, unfortunately, but it's the healthier type of drug that doesn't harm your body, except for your fingers. I I <laughs> I like that. I grew up using my fingers to pull apart parts, and my children get to grow up using a dang brick separator. So uh, I'm pretty jealous about that. I'm well, like, no, look, you're gonna learn the hard way. <laughs> What year did the brick servers come out? Well, they they had them, they had them, um, but and I don't know the exact year on that. But they had a few, but they didn't start like mass producing them until just recently, a few years back. You know, um, that uh, that I can tell. Um, like all of a sudden, it was like, oh, here's a brick separator in every set now. Like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hate sorting. I like Lego, but I don't like having too much Lego to the point where you have to sort it all. All right. All right. All right. Um, mm -hmm. According to uh, Brick Nerd from BrickNerd.com, the first brick separator was introduced in 1990. Wow. See, so so seven years before I was in, in the world, you had a brick separator. But yeah, I didn't get a brick separator until... What, what year were you born? 97. Oh my God, I graduated a year after you were born? Wow. Time wow. flies. Dang, man. I know. It's crazy to think that we're already to the point where I have to scan IDs and make sure that they are to the date of 2003 to be legal. It is crazy to think that we're already in the age limits of 2003 to be of legal drinking age. Craziness. That's my daughter. It is just nuts. I just I can't believe it that we're just progressing that fast. I, I had seen baby pictures yesterday that I haven't seen in, in a while of my children. And it's it's crazy. Like, their faces don't change much. Like, they've thinned out in the face a little bit. But 
crazy to think that my daughter will be seven this year. And over that time length, she's just grown up so much. And it's just, it's crazy to think that one day she's going to be as tall as I am, as as smarter than I am. And all this Lego, I'm so glad I I, I got them into Lego at very young ages because they can use this building concept in in everyday life. I use, I I try to think three-dimensionally about different things in my own life, you know, not necessarily building, but, you know, so I I try. My my daughter wasn't really into Lego until I got into Lego. And, you know, everybody knows the story how I got into Lego, but my daughter, a few months before I started the Lego thing, my daughter comes in and she was a big friends, uh, friends, the TV show friends. Yeah. And, and, and she's always, and she was a, a criminal minds fan and in, in Supernatural. And every time she, because she always gotten the cutout, uh, cutouts of some of the stars on Criminal Mind. I mean, she liked the memorabilia from the TV shows, right? Like, yeah, she bought posters of Dean the collective and, stuff, Dean yeah. and Sam from Supernatural to hang up on her wall, and just different things. And, and she comes in here, comes in my room, and goes, "Hey." Can I get this? It was a, that those friend sets that came out. Yeah, the friend department and the friend or the in Central Perk. Yes, mm-hmm. and and I was like, well, I don't know. At the, and I looked at the price. I said, "Thank you, I'm at the hundred some odd dollars or whatever." But so I got then I got into, then I got into Lego. Then I go, I I guess I'm gonna have to. And it's a sticky disease. I, I mean, like with the uh, with the pandemic that had happened years ago, um, Lego sprouted. People stayed home. People wanted to do something, so they got Lego. Some people did. Some people did it. And there's so many new people into Lego now, and that's that's awesome. But I don't know. I feel like without Lego, a lot of us would be stir crazy. A lot of us wouldn't know what to do with our lives. Well. I didn't start Lego till after the pandemic. So, what'd you do with your life other than being a firefighter? Well, I know no life without Lego. So, during the pandemic, I was I, I was just sitting watching TV. Yeah. See, I wouldn't know what to do with my life. I hit my ADHD kicks in. I'm like, okay, I gotta go do something now. Like, I didn't start till at, till after. Well. Hang on. Well, okay. Let's put it this way. I during the pandemic I just sat and watched TV, but then I was getting depressed, and that's when I the Lego Masters first season came on, right? Yeah. And uh I wanted to what you know, I just simply told my wife, I said, I used to do that when I was a kid, it was pretty fun. Next day I she comes in carrying a the uh, Captain America mech. Um, hey, will you pause this? I need a minute. Okay. Yeah. We're Lego. back. Sorry. <laughs> yes, Lego yeah. Masters. Um, see, that's the other thing, too. Like, if Lego Masters didn't pop onto the screen, if they hadn't thought, hey, let's go and start this new Lego show, like that, that took a lot. I'm sure it took a lot of money for them to start it up and whatnot, but they already had a fan base. I get that, but their fan base grew because of this. And I think that's where they seen the potentiality, but from there, Lego blossomed, the creativity blossomed and the parts in itself blossomed. Like, I don't know if we would ever have gotten it, you know, a lot of these newer pieces and colors and molds and stuff. If, if it wasn't for Lego masters, like not well, specifically they, they were making but, parts before Lego master. Yeah. yeah something they about they, so, so I heard something about they, they have a, like a plan ahead type of thing. Like sets are built years ahead of time, but then you get like Dune. They Dune was released at some point. I'm sure maybe they had some insight on it, but how are they going to release the set before the movie? That's what I don't. Well, they, 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 they you got to understand. They got to have designers to, to to even to even design it 
All right, and it's all different colors. Like the designers will use all different color brick that they have to just to, to design it. Then they got to take it to the factory and get bricks made. So that takes process. And then they got to make enough for all the stores and, and warehouses. So it takes a good, I would say, a good four or five years mm-hmm. before okay, it comes out. That's already been a process. So, like, what are we getting out now? Mm-hmm. Just say that. Well, I, it's hard for me to say that because the Dungeons and Dragons was just last year. So maybe that's it's a, true. Maybe you see, it's a quicker process now. I don't know. That, that's a great. Yeah, that's a great uh, point there. Dungeons and Dragons has been around for a while. But the spark of it increased within the last few years, within the last year at least. Well, what, well, what I'm saying is that we voted on they they did a contest for that set. Somebody designed oh. that that's not Lego, and then uh-huh. Lego case, it was a contest, and whoever got the the design won, and, and and then that's what they used for the set, and that's it won. Uh, See, so that took that took what. I mean, that's just maybe a year, not even a year. It was like last summer. Yeah. They did a contest or something like that. So, I mean, so I guess I, I, I will I will retract my comment about it takes five or six years. But. Well, I, and to a point, I think you're right. It does take a while for some things to, to be that process. But you're right about Dungeons & Dragons. The pop of it didn't quite happen. And then now all of a sudden this guy put up a uh, his rendition, per se, of Dungeons and Dragons set. But then Lego took it like a fly on a trap. They they sucked it all in and said, yep, we're going to run with it because it's... Oh, no, 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 they did a contest for it. They said, we're going to do it. We're going to host a, a D&D uh, set and the fans, you submit what you want. You build something and submit it to us and we We'll pick the winner. Yeah. So I'm not into it. it. I I would get it for the parts. That's just who I am, you know. And everybody gives me crap about it, but that's just who I am. I I I I don't like the Dungeons and Dragons game. It's very cool if you play the game because it breaks apart. You can use the set as as part of the game that they came out with with Lego set. (laughs) But I'm not getting it. For one, I, I. it don't fit my theme, even though it's a castle, but it's half of a castle. I mean, it's it's a facade. It's not a full castle. I just I just I would have to buy two of them. That's seven hundred dollars. No, not me. I ain't got the seven hundred dollars to throw on it. It's a good looking dragon, but. Not seven hundred dollars worth of dragon. Dragons, I think, is the best part of the build. Yeah. Uh, I, that dragon would look cool on that big castle you built. I got a dragon. Oh, you know, that's that. what you should do. You should try to mock your own dragon. I have a dragon sitting on there. You didn't. You didn't watch my other castle update, did yeah. you? No, I know you have a dragon. I'm saying you should mock one. Oh, oh. Maybe I don't know. And it's yeah, I don't know. It's I, they they remind me more of mechs of mech bodies because of the ball joints that sometimes you have to use. Well, uh, I don't like one, using ball joints to build stuff. The one I have it, it was a gift from a, from Butt Shop, so I'm okay. proud of it, and I and that's why it's in my layout. I, I, nice. I you know. I always like that. Somebody sent me something. I build it. It will stay in my collection. But you tore down the Smoky Bear Mock. Uh-huh. Talk I about not that. I built that. <laughs> I tore down the one that we built together. You sent me. No, yes. together. I know. If anything, I'm the one that tore them up, kind of. I took them off his base to put them under my yeah, You're the one that did it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't know. Leo. Does I don't know? I think they even make bonehead moves. What? What do you mean, bonehead? Well, I mean, oh, just dumb decision. The gift with purchase is starting to get to me a little bit. It used to, I thought it was cool. You get a free Lego when you buy a set, but now you start thinking about it. You gotta spend two, three hundred dollars just to get it for a tiny set. 
like okay, that poly bag that that, that we're going to speed build Sunday night. Yeah, I had to pay forty dollars. Are you serious? For that, yes, for that poly bag, dude. I had to pay Five dollars at Walmart. Yeah, I went to Walmart and got mine for fifteen because it came with two other sets. So I'm like, well, that's that. That was stupid. But I was I was ordering Lego anyway, so okay. I was ordering Lego anyway, so it was get to me. Okay, but still, forty dollar price point for that poly bag. You know, I was buying Lego anyway. See, but, so how can they just the value on putting a price hike that much onto a small gift with purchase set if they're just going to re-release the set in a smaller box for a lot less price? I don't, I don't get that. Lego I'll, is I'll, I'll, is I'll weird. Go to the world's man, 200 250 dollar price point. Yeah. Really? With all of us struggling and and everything. Oh yeah, that's yeah. Mm -hmm. I get it. You know, yeah, everybody's struggling, you know. And I, I'm you know, I'm guilty as anybody. I gripe about the prices and all this stuff, but you know what the problem is? I keep buying it. And and you kind of can't. It's like we're really just sucked into it that much that we cannot stop buying it. I tell my dad that all the time that it is a it's it's a disease. I have a disease. I cannot stop buying Lego no matter what it is. If I see a set or a piece I like, I'm like, oh my god, I really need that. In the back of my head, it's that FOMO. That's what it is. Yeah. Because in the back of my head, I'm like. Well, what if I don't get to see this set again? Or what if I don't get to actually hold that box? Like, that's my thing. I like holding the box of, of the bigger sets I can't have just to say I actually got to touch the box. Well, that makes know, me happy. We got critics out there saying, well, I don't have to go to the Lego store, but you know, whatever. Right. You, but I get, but they're touching Lego all the time. And I, and I know yeah. one person, I'm not going to name no names. Oh, you got that phone. Well, I don't want to buy Lego. Then he goes out and buys a, bu a bulk lot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's still buying Lego. <laughs> it doesn't mm -hmm. matter where you're from. Mm -hmm. But but I'm just saying, we can sit here and bench and moan about the prices of Lego and how much the, the, the you know price per part or to to uh, how much it is to get the good purchase. If, if I swear, if everybody takes one month off of buying Lego, Lego will change. I mean, everybody in the world, but for one month only, not they, buy Lego. Lego would seriously hurt without one month's supply of the income that they get. They would really hurt. And then they would probably open their eyes and see what they're doing. You're exactly right. I mean... Like that's just any business. Any business business would hurt if people would stop going. You know, mom and pa shops, Walmart. Walmart would would really hurt if we stopped going to Walmart for three weeks. Like, you know, like it, I think you're right, Cliffy. If if there was some way to take a stance on something like that, but we'll call it a protest. You don't even got to make a sign. But you stop buying Lego for a month from Lego or from Walmart or just in general. That's very hard. As I say it, I'm thinking, yeah, there's no way I can. <laughs> See, I'm going to be torturing myself for the next two months because I ain't buying no Lego in April or in May See? Because, I'm going to, because I'm going to Nashville. You got to break down your sets and rebuild them, dude. That, that'll get your, your brain oh, out I, of I got time. plenty to build, yeah. too. And I mean, I got... I still got plenty to build. I'm just not buying any. And try yeah. to buy it. Um, but you know, like this Avengers Tower, man. I want. I've I've got. I've had the money where I can just order it. But I'm waiting until I get back from Nashville. Then I'm gonna order it. But FOMO got me a little bit with the Daily Bugle. I but I waited. I wanted that set from the first day out. We got in Lego. I saw it. I said, well, I ain't going to a city. So I, I just put it out of my mind. Then I decided I'm going to do the city. And like, well, now I got to get the bugle. And boy, I was so, Lego was always going, at, being out of stock or on back order. I said, man, I finally ended up ordering it, I think, from Disney. <laughs> See, now think about the FOMO stage. Think about those who don't get that set before it retires. Like, I have the Disney castle. I'm glad we got that because it's a great castle. But, if I sat there and we didn't buy it, I would be 
like drooling over it. I just, I, uh, you know, it's okay, Mister. Uh, now this is going to hurt a little bit, Cal. You ready? Uh, you got you got your tissues ready. <laughs> yeah, it's going to hurt. Oh, the eighty nine Batmobile. Oh, how dare you bring that up? I try to what? forget it. I had that thing in my cart three times to buy it. And I've talked myself out it all three times, and guess what happened? That's such a good, yeah. If I can retire. Yep. Now I can't get it because I'm not going to spend five hundred dollars on a set that was only two hundred dollars. I will not do that. I, yep. Call me dumb, but I'm not going to pay five hundred dollars for a set that was only forty five dollars when it was on sales. Yep. Not that, uh, the markup on it is ridiculous. So. And, and- I, but then I, f- I find out this guy named Brick Cow parted out in his band. It's, it's one of those things. <laughs> I probably pissed off a lot of people today. I told everybody that. <laughs> uh, right. but there you go. I, I don't know. I still I still regret doing that uh, <laughs> a lot. But at the same time, I know I still have all of those pieces, all the tires, all the and everything. So I, at any point in time, if I really wanted to, I can go get the instructions and just rebuild it. But yet I don't know if I want to, because I know how many parts goes into it and I know why I took it apart. So I don't know if I want to go back down that stage yet. Well, I'll tell you what, I broke down some sets before I've done that before. And, uh, but that's why uh, from that I went, from that day on, I said, you know what? I'm not going to wait till the last minute. If I'm going to buy it, I'm going to just pull the trigger and do it. Mm-hmm. And and I'm not going to wait. You know, oh, why don't you wait to get that on sale or on double VIP? Because I tried that with a freaking Titanic and it, it blew up in my face every time. I'd wait to double VIP, go in there, freaking out, uh, you know. Sold out. I don't have a Lego store by me, so every time I went to Lego.com, it was it was sold out backwards. So I can never get it on those double VIPs. Right. So you know what? Hell with the double VIP. I don't give a crap. If I want, I'm going to buy it. I don't care if it's if it's not double VIP or triple VIP or on sale. If I want, I buy it because if I wait, you know, screw it. I'm done. <laughs> you know, it's now or never. So I, I don't wait for double VIP. I don't, you know, if I want it, I'm going to buy it. That's, that's all there is to it. I don't care. It's yeah, my yeah. money and I can spend it how I want it. That, don't judge me. But it's blew up my face more than, more than one time for trying to wait for double VIP. You know, I just figured what would double VIP is out. I'll buy something to get that double VIP. I'm not going to just wait. Yeah. Yeah, the double VIP or a really good gift with purchase. I still don't get why they would go up that high on gift with purchases. It's just, it's just nuts to me. But, but I, have noticed, I can't spend that much money on a freaking Lego set. <laughs> well, I've noticed. Yeah, like all these sets that came out here recently, like the medieval village or uh, square. And that medieval. Yeah. It's you know it, you know I figured well that's gonna be out of stock well the next couple of days it's still in stock so I'm like well maybe it's not the, you know maybe it's not that way anymore maybe I can wait a little bit this is going to be there you know <laughs> yeah until I do it until I do that then it's going to be everybody else has got the same idea you got because he double VIP <laughs> yeah yeah my that's- that's a good way to go at it, though. You get the double points, and then you can go cash in at some point. But well, I understand that, but it's a, I've been burned so many times trying to do that. Yep. And then I'm just deflated, and I don't even order anything on double VIP. It's like, well, I ain't and I really want, so I ain't buying it just for five dollars extra of VIP points. But, There's probably a reason I don't live too close to a bricks and minifigs or a Lego store. Exactly. Exactly. I, I think they charge too much for like I'm sorry. At, at B, yeah, bricks and minifigs, yeah, but uh, I, don't know, I, I, don't know about, I don't know about the brick, brick company or anything like that, but the, I can tell you personally, the one that I have been to 
out here. Well, I've been to a couple out here, but the one closest to me, they are overpriced. I I like going there. I like the atmosphere. I like to get bricks. And I'm willing to pay the $50 for the little bit of bricks that I got, but a little bit of bulk that I had found. But it's because I spend two, three hours picking through that bulk, finding the good pieces. I'm like, yeah, I made it well worth it. But if you're in there and you don't know what you're doing, you're going to spend $50 on bricks, on literal bricks, if you don't find the good stuff. So it's very overpriced for what you could get. Uh, I ought to say like um, the online store. What's the online stores? The, I'm drawing a blank. Cliffy. eBay. Brick, eBay. Brick link, brick link, that one. Um, you can you can go to Bricklink and buy anything Lego, really, almost anything I should say, in mm-hmm. any color almost, and and it's for a lot cheaper price than what you're going to go pay at this bricks and minifig store. But mm-hmm. then you have to wait. I don't like to wait. <laughs> well, my problem is, like I said a little bit ago, I do not. I ain't going to spend five hundred dollars for a set that came out that was only four to five dollars and was that on sale. Yeah, I understand the. I understand that <laughs> that business got to make some money, but come on, they're making plenty of money. I I honestly wonder how much they pay their employees because they're making pr- some pretty good dough. Maybe. Hey. Now I hear there's volunteer options at Bricks and Minifigs. I didn't know of that, or it's, I would have looked into that long ago. But why would you volunteer? Well, because you get paid in brick, you you know, you, yeah. And that's, that's, you know, that's the upside and the downside. You're, you're using your time. Whereas I'm young, I have to make money in order to live. So that's different for me. I can just volunteer. Like I can't just go get paid in brick all day for the hell of it. I have to actually work for my money. Sometimes Cliffy, I, I sometimes no. (laughs) Is it corners? Not too. Never mind. Um, Nowadays, they say it's so easy to make money. You know, if it's so easy, then why the heck aren't we all rich? Like, well, there is jobs out there, Cal. There is a lot of jobs out there. There's ways to make money. There's nobody wants to do it. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'd rather sit here and play Lego, honestly. <laughs> no. Um, I, I, I just don't, I don't, I, that's another, that's probably not a subject we should talk about on a coffee. No, no we're good. Yeah. <laughs> but, but what I'm just, I don't know. I just, I, the, I understand the company, you know, like breaks some interviews. They got to make some money. I get it. They keep yeah. the doors open, paying their employees and stuff. I get, they got to make money somewhere. But you know, you make it where it's at least reasonable. I can, you know, I understand I'm paying something that came out in the 19. Well, let's, let's just say Yellow Castle. All right. The, the yeah, first yeah. Yellow yeah. Castle. And I really know. I know it, you know, it's worth a lot of money. I get it. I get it. But I'm not going to spend a thousand dollars on it. There ain't no yeah. way. I mean, I can almost build that out of my breaks now, but it just has a couple special pieces. I bet yeah. I could go online and order for maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But but what I'm saying is I'm not going to spend a $700 difference. I'm sorry. Right. That, that brick ain't, is, is cool, but it ain't that important. We got to remember that even though we can create cool things out of it, it is still plastic. It's still, it's, it's, it's not worth sometimes sometimes it's not worth the value price at which it's set i feel exactly. i feel so i mean they they, they price at 45 dollars. so I'm, I'm assuming it's at least worth 45 dollars. okay it's not worth 500 dollars. you know you you're buying 500 <clears throat> you're buying 500 dollars for a set that has 100 some odd pieces in it and it's just because, and it's all because they quit making the theme, or it's old. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The only reason. I don't know. 
And there's some, you know, like the base plates you can't get no more. I get that. The raised base plates, the, uh, you know, some of the base plates they don't make no more. Totally yeah. get that. That's where your money is. I get it, but they gum it's just I just can't I can't do it. Um, I have bought retired sets before. Uh, you know, I bought a I bought the the Chima boat that I built with with chop on Chima Day. Yep. It was it only I mean it really cost me a hundred dollars. So I, I I spend that easily on legal sets. Okay. Right. So that was that didn't hurt me. The firehouse, that and I didn't if I if, if I didn't have a good buddy who gave me a good deal on it, I would never got it. Yeah. And I mean it I me me and somebody was back here looking at Lego the other day, they're going for like a thousand dollars. Wow. Yeah. I, you know, I always spent half that. That's crazy. But uh, is see it, I choose not to look at <laughs> I uh, let's uh, let's say the Batmobile. I choose not to look at what it's priced anymore because it makes me very upset with myself that I let it go and get all scratched up and and used like that, like I did. Uh, but let's say the the Death Star. I have that big gray blob of a ball that they wanted to throw out. Uh, it's a good build. I got that for free because the lady I was doing pest control and it, the lady. Is it the play uh, set? Is it the play yeah, set? It's the open one. It's the big open one with the with the yeah, Ooh. I don't I don't know this the set number, but it comes with the two red guards and yeah. all kinds of stuff. It was a good set, but she's like, Oh well my son my son went to college, I'm throwing out all his stuff. I'm like, That's Lego. You're not gonna throw it away, are you? She's like, Oh, I, I gotta make a dumpster run this this today or whatever. And I begged her for it. I was like, please don't go throw that away. Like, don't. Like, it's Star Wars, okay? I, I don't like Star Wars. I could care less for the... The ships are cool. I could care less for it. It's all parts to me, like we all joke about, okay? Because what I did was I... She, she was great. She let me have it in the big tote that it came in. And I tore it down. I rebuilt it. And I played with it. I set it up on my shelf for a while. And I said, no, it's not doing me any justice. I don't want it. So I tore it down and for parts. And that has got me very far at the at the beginning of things because I didn't have as much Lego as I had now. My house is covered in Lego now. It's crazy how much Lego I got. I never would have thought that I had this much Lego, you know. Right. But but for her to just throw it out like that, I'm like, you don't see the actual value in that piece of plastic. I said, I, you know, like I, I think to myself, it's plastic, but yet there's still something there to be made of it. Like either mm -hmm. in your own enjoyment or somebody's resale value. Like, I don't know. But so, yeah, I, I've torn down numerous different things. I had that red crane, that Technic big, huge crane with the walls and whatnot. It's that red one. It's retired now. I got that right when it came out because I love cranes. And and I was working the oil field around cranes a lot that time too. And first thing I did, I built it. I played with the functions. I tore it down. And I have yet to see it since. Hmm. But <laughs> but uh, we're not going to go into that. But that's a good set, you know. I like, I like what I've gotten over the years. My R2-D2, y'all, I had made that R2-D2 and it took me hours. That original R2-D2 that came out. And... It took me hours, and I loved it. And I, I had downloaded the R2-D2 sounds to my MP3 player, little small MP3 player. And when I would take it to church or to, to, to events, I would put that MP3 player in its head and make it do the sounds as if it was real. And, uh, and so after all that, I tore it down, and I said, these rounded pieces look to me like a guitar. And I built a, a guitar out of it. I really wish I had pictures of it, but I was so young back then. I was just getting in my teens. I was somewhere in my teens by then. But I didn't have a cell phone. I didn't get a cell phone until I was almost 16. So, but I didn't have a way to take a picture. But that guitar was so cool to me that I was mm -hmm. like, oh, I have to build more. I have to build more out of this stuff. 
And, uh, and so that R2-D2 is still in my part. It's never seen the light of day again. I still have those brown, reddish brown cords that they say is worth a lot or worth some odd. So I put those in the in a baggie with the Batmobile windshield just to just to protect that. But I don't know. You're you know people people have their own enjoyments in what they do with Lego. I like I started this YouTube thing saying that I would never build a layout. That's not my thing. And here I am. I'm on my second layout. I had to tear up, tear up this, the first one to recreate the second one. So it's, it's crazy the the enjoyment and the satisfaction that you get out of a tiny piece of plastic. But then you look at someone who's like my father. My family growing up had no interest in what I built or what I was doing with Lego. They seen it as a nuisance because I had it spread all over the house or what all in my room, you know, like stepping on it, cussing you out. Exactly. Yeah. Pick up your damn Legos. Right. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) And now it's just everywhere. But so they, they never seen the value or what I had seen in my creations and what I've done, but I've always been so excited to show everybody and, and like, Oh, look, I made this, like say the, the tractor. Oh, I made the tractor, you know? Um, Oh, hell, let's go with this one. I built the set of the Harry Potter hat the other day, right? Or weeks ago, whatever. My dad likes Harry Potter. He's a Harry Potter fan. He's taken me to every showing that they've had. I've seen them all. He has read the books. I have not. I thought he would somewhat show me a smile or say good job or something. I didn't get nothing out of him, but yet I kind of expected that because that's just kind of what it what it's been. But I don't see how people don't see what we see in Lego. I don't, I can't wrap my brain around that. Like we did. It's the term child toy. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. That could be, yes. And yet I look at what I'm building here. Um, on my layout, I like to put my train through the castle. I think that's a cool feature. Um, and yet, now that I'm building this, I have more room because uh, it kind of is like a, a room with a hallway to it. So this open hallway, I get so many different views on my layout now that in different potential. And so I'm basically creating a 3D art is what I feel like. And I, yeah. that's, that's, that's kind of what I see with Lego is it's, it's art. It's three-dimensional art that you can build. You can physically build anything you want to, and it's there. Whereas mm-hmm. you take you take wood, you can do the same thing with wood, but you have to saw it and you have to measure it and you have to, you, you know, you have to do everything and glue it. And there, these are here for you. Yeah, it's it's yeah. People don't see what we see. I I don't know. Sorry, I rambled on about a bunch of stuff there. <laughs> oh, but I love Lego. I like what we do. I like mm-hmm. that there's a community on YouTube and and out there that uh, you know, like-minded people that they see what we see, you know? Like, they they see the Lego not just as a child's toy, but as a everything, every, everyday thing. I wonder what started a community. Who was the first Lego? Right, yeah. Who, who reached out first, to who? Who put the first Lego on YouTube? I'm sure Google knows. Google knows every well. YouTube will Google the system. Let's see. Let's just see. I'll Google it and see if they know. I wonder if they know. Yeah. So I that is intriguing. That's a good when question. Did the first Lego video come? Would it come? Yeah, come out on YouTube. Out on YouTube. I'm using my phone. And survey says no. Well, they don't they don't say. See? Oh, that's crazy. Google don't know it. What is the name of the Lego YouTube channel? 
Oh yeah, that's a good yeah, that's a good way well, to work it. Uh, Oh, let's say who's the biggest Lego YouTuber. Ooh, they might know that one, yeah. My stats. All right, number one, Brick Builder, 2.6 million subscribers. Really? I'm going to have to look into this. Half Asleep Chris. I've heard of him. million subscribers. Then it's Jane Bricks, 1.4 million <laughs> subscribers. He's at number three? Wow. Yeah. Then FK Films, 1.8 million subscribers. Then Beyond the Brick at 1.2 million subscribers. That's then awesome. Brick Fault at 675K subscribers. Then it's Just Too Good at 675. Then it's MR Productions at 570K. Wow. That is crazy that it knows all that logic and yet it don't want to tell us the first YouTuber. <laughs> It's all data that is collected, though. That that's understandable. That's awesome, though, that it it's, it tells you that. I would never have known the top dog out there now. And now we know who top dog is. It's clicking, clicking the brick will cow. What are you talking about? Hey, top dog, coffee time. Yeah. All right. After M, M and R, it is LCM Brick Show. Okay. Number ten is Brick Bros Productions. <laughs> then an eleven is Brixie. Uh, okay. Twelve is twelve is Ashen Flash. And thirteen Ashen. is R Racing Brick. Hmm. Even Doug Brixine even on here. What the heck? Brixine, really? We know Brick him. Brixie. Oh, Brixie. I was like, we know who he is. Yes. Yeah, we uh, we all know who Brixie is. <laughs> who is the number one Lego builder in the world? Who doesn't know that? That's, that's hard to, to piece together, though, Cliffy, because you're talking, like, physically, who is the best builder out there? And everybody with a, I don't know how to put it, with an ego will say that they are the best builder. <laughs> okay, let's, let's try this. One more time. We'll, we'll, try, we'll try to attack this one more time. This is the use, useless uh, Lego info of the of the podcast. <laughs> uh, what was the first Lego? La 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 Lego. La la Lloyd. I have a friend named Lloyd. I do that all the time. All right, here we go. Starting in. This is fun. I like looking up useless information. <laughs> well, it doesn't say. It, I mean, wow. It, it, Google does not know. We stumped, right. we stumped Google. That's right. You heard it first, folks. Clicking and breaking coffee time. We have stumped the Google. <laughs> The Google ain't got nothing on me as they delete my account. <laughs> well, that's cool. Uh, well, who came first on YouTube? <sighs> first Lego YouTuber. I don't know. Well, by uh, unanimous majority vote, it says Clicking Cliff. Was oh, wow. One. What's the longest YouTube video? Is there Four, is somebody playing Fortnite for 24 hours by... That's not uh, even it's Lego. It's, it's technically Lego. The longest Lego. video we found was at least 24 hours. Well, heck, no, that's a video, not live stream. They made a 24 hour video. Wow. wow. I don't know. What was the old YouTube logo? I don't care about the YouTube logo. I want Lego. Old YouTube Lego 2005. 
Oh, logo, not Lego. You dipshit. I'm, I can't read. Anyway, uh, I can't find it. We stumped Google. We stumped it. We stumped, stumped Google. The Google. That's funny. So, what do you got planned for the week? Well, the few hours I work this week, I'll go to work. And I'll come home, and I'll finish sorting what I got to sort. And, yeah, that's about all I ever do, it feels like. Um, oh, well, I guess this is a new week, because she moved in, so she officially starts living here as of Sunday. So, that's I guess it's going to be a new thing for, for me here out. That's Yeah. Well, guys. So, what what you about know. you? What you do? I, I, I got the garage sale coming up tomorrow. I'm going to go garage sale and look for Lego. I'll probably do video on it as we uh, uh, a, a vlog on it. Because, heck, if I find something, I'm going to be excited. I want to share with you guys. So I'll probably do that. Yeah, um, Sunday night, of course, Sunday is Easter. And I want to wish you guys out there a happy Easter if you believe in that. If you don't, I want you to have a good, have a good weekend anyway. Um, yes. But, uh, then Sunday night, you know, is our, our competition again. Remind everybody, we got a big competition Ooh. Sunday night. Whoop, whoop, on Clicking and Breaking, 8, 8 p.m. Central on my channel. Um, on the Clicking Cliff. And that's it. And finish up the Daily Beagle on my next Wednesday Night Live. Um, so. It's the final pieces. <laughs> yeah, we're going to finish that up. It's going to be fun. Um, but yeah, well, uh, that's pretty much it. New videos, I might build some Lego. I don't know. I may do a live stream later on today. Who, who, who knows? Mm -hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I've been wanting to do a Cliffy After Dark stream for a while now. I just gotta figure what's the best time to do it. The other time I feel like doing it, somebody else's live, so like, wait, I ain't gonna stream over them. Um, so. We'll figure it out. I may. It could be a Sunday night after the Sunday night. Clicking and breaking. Who knows? Ooh. But yeah, that's about it. Um, good show. Good show. Yeah, we, still got, we got a couple minutes left. We're not going to cut your time short. We promise you now. We're giving you an hour. This time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, As I'm dying. Whew. All right, well, we hope you don't die. Um, so yeah, if you have, if, you, if you're going to do Easter, have fun. Um, we're doing. My a kids are so excited. We're going to do an Easter special, clicking and breaking. We're going to have a competition, building a rabbit. Um, and then mocking something out of it. That's gonna be the hardest part for me. It's not fair. Why I'm gonna mock too? So you're not, in the, yeah. you're, not you're not in that book by yourself. We'll figure it out. Uh, hope to see. You. Oh, we really hope to see you guys there. And uh, Cal, you got anything else? Moo, have a good day. Moo, have a good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Uh, I guess we'll see y'all Sunday night. Um, remember, hit the like button. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think about this podcast. And also, subscribe to the Brick Book Cow. Ooh, Ooh, we're almost at 200, and we can finally cut my hair. There you go. Keep forgetting that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we, everybody's going, we can't wait to get into 200. So make sure you subscribe to the Brick Book Cows and subscribe to Click and Cliff and so you can watch Clicking and Breaking on Sunday nights at 8 p.m. Central and then coffee time Friday mornings at 8, 8 a.m. on the Brick Book Cows channel. Every Friday. And whether it's so, free or not. Usually we're live during this, but today we had to do a pre-record. So guys, remember y'all, have a good day and keep on clicking and breaking. Boo. Bye. I'm going to